Can you explain a little bit about what the audience is going to see when they come into the space? Yeah. Um, well, the audience is going to see a floating box. Mm -hmm. So four white screens that kind of float in the space that prescribe this area that we're going to be having an interaction in. So that's the first thing that you see. Um, no actual seating is used in any of the theaters we tour to. Mm -hmm. So all the seats are taken out, folded in random stacks throughout the space, and then there's just this box that you enter in. What's the, the piece about you? Like, what are you, what are you working towards? Ah. Well, there's a lot of right. things going on for me in this piece. One is um, just my whole fascination with the increase of um, internet communication portals and the way that we have instant access to each other and how that affects human intimacy um, and the different ways that I can speak to my dad via Skype or text a friend or Facebook or all these different portals that give us so many more ways to reach each other and so many more immediate ways to access each other. Mm -hmm. um, but yet at the same time I feel impede some human intimacy and, and that texture is really interesting to me. Um, and that contrast between the two. Um, also, just my own frustration with questions around how can I fit the mass of human experience through these really prescribed portals, you know. Facebook's asked me, what am I doing right now? Well, ah, I don't know, I'm having a whatever I am. Yeah. How, do you, how do you send authentic communication and real intimacy or um, anger? How do you take the mass of human drama or joy and put it through these neatly prescribed portals? Um, so that is one thing. Um, also, just and then going off that question of how how we fit our human experience into these really neat portals, um, what do what do I do? What do we do as individuals when we um, are hit by sudden change, something that's unexpected, something that is um, uprooting? What are the kind of fight or flight human characteristics that come out in each of us, and what what is that path of kind of unconscious reaction to getting sideswiped. Um, so that's a, a parallel theme that runs through the theme of how do we connect with each other in this um, new era of communication and access. So um, for the audience member coming to your, to your show, is it for you about connecting with the individual audience members, or is it about you and your dancer connecting with each other? Yeah, um, the levels of connection have permeated through the whole piece in a way that I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. So the whole question of um, authentic connection came up in terms of the performative experience as well. So I've always been interested in using performance to ignite a shared human experience mm -hmm. and have found that many of the performative environments that I've experienced are prohibitive to that. You know, here we are and you're in the dark and I'm in the light and I look so fancy and I know all my moves, you don't know any of them. You know, you just get to sit and watch and, you know, it's, it's things that I think a lot of artists are, are looking at and struggling with right now. So matched with that question of intimacy through communication um, paralleled really beautifully with how can a performance be an intimate communication as well. So we really wanted to level a playing field, which is why the audience is in the space with us, which is why um, we went with a new media dance collaboration. Because then we're creating a new partner, which is the computer and the custom programming, and the web camera, and the IR lights, and the computer can't tell the difference between audience and performer. And I love its biasness. So when it's told to do something, it'll get triggered by audience member or performer alike. And that um, unpredictability, and that evenness, um, 
and that entry point for the audience is really interesting for me. So every performance is different because, you know, there's a particular algorithm and program and effect with the animation that happens and it looks totally different depending on where the audience is, how much they're moving, how engaged they are in the space, or how polite they're trying to be. So you're using, um, could you talk a bit about just the technology? Because I'm a nerd about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's your, what's your yeah. software? What's your hardware? Absolutely, hardware. absolutely. So um, we have a phenomenal team of collaborators on this mm -hmm. project. We have a new media artist, her name is Mary Frank, and she, um, wrote all this custom programming for the interactivity of the work. Um, she used Max and Jitter and got them to, I think those are the programs, yep. got them to speak <laughs> together great, yeah. and then used a motion capture software as well. So she's MacGyvered this um, quilt of jerry-rigging a web camera so it's an IR camera, which means it sees in the dark, so it can see where we are in pitch dark, which is important for a section of the piece. And then using infrared lights, which will light us in the dark without actually lighting anything that the human eye can see. And then taking all that information into this motion capture program, which will tell the software where we are in space and how to react. Um, and then there's all sorts of fun things that I'm not going to fully revealed right. <laughs> <laughs> that happened in response to um, where the dancers are, where the audience is, um, the tenor of the movement, the attack of the movement, the floor pattern of the movement, there are all these um, parameters that the program is looking for. Uh, that affects what's happening, and it's it's matched with what we're doing in terms of the choreography, and in terms of some of the text that's written. We worked with a writer and a dramaturg, uh, Lucy Corin, and phenomenal line designer Lucas Crash. So, and um, that, and with our composer Jeremy Zuckerman, who was working with software, which is um, also interactive. The whole thing has been just how can we use real time. Um, input to create something that's in the moment and authentic and immediate. Awesome. I'm going to leave it there. That sounds great. I'm really excited to see it. Thanks. <laughs> Yay. Thanks.